Hi, good afternoon. Well, never a dull moment down here on the Seamy Group floors in Chicago, a kind of a cool and rainy Chicago. I bet that's not a surprise to anybody. If you took a look at the planning progress numbers last night, we were looking for something around 71% to be done. We got a bullish 67%. And a market like that, right? It took off right away overnight. We were up at least a dime higher, uh, but then slowly but surely, things started to come back down. And when we couldn't get through um, some decent technical levels, yes, we have 33% of the corn crop that still needs to be planted. That makes it kind of feel a little bit bullish, or at least some traders out there and speculators were feeling that way. But these markets need to kind of breathe and nothing goes up in a straight line. So kind of keep that in mind that these types of markets are slow moving. And what I mean by that is this, you've got 33 million or 33% of the uh, acres that need to be planted still. That, that, that's not like hot and dry weather, flash in the pan, or get out in front of it. The markets really react quickly to those drought markets, but they have a very difficult time digesting cool and wet or at least wet markets because it takes longer to kind of get the information that you need to continue to stay in your position, right? So if that's the case, it's going to be a while. It's kind of like, I like to think of it like the, the big stone from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Raiders of the Lost Ark. As it starts to roll, it's coming. You can't stop it, but it's not going to give you the information in a timely fa fashion like you might get, or at least the emotions that you might get with hot and dry when everybody runs out to buy the market and it kind of really does, overdoes itself. So this type of thing is slow moving and it's going to take time. And we're going to have days where we see the market pull back, pull back just like this. Now, what does that do? Well, if you're still a bull, that gives you an opportunity. But trust me, I've been in this market a long time. And you'll go back and look at, say, 2019, and if we do have a big bull market, you'll feel like, man, I felt like I was long all that, but I really didn't make as much money as I thought, or boy, did I leave a lot of missed opportunity out there. And the reason is this. These slow-moving, say, wet rallies rather than these hot and dry rallies, they're going to make it difficult for you to stay long. They're gonna shake out the week longs on some breaks every now and again. It's not gonna go up in a straight line. You're gonna to have to have a plan and be convicted if that's your inkling and to stay in this market as it trades higher, if it trades higher because this weather doesn't get any better. Again, we still have 33% of the crop that needs to get in the ground. That's gonna be an issue at some point in time. And the stuff that's gone in late is going to be an issue when it comes to yields. So you keep all that in mind and you think, yeah, this thing should take off, but it might not. And that's why I say to you, be careful. These types of markets take a long time to develop, and it's going to make it hard for you to stick with this rally. That's the advice I've got from the floor of the Seaman Groups uh, today. I'm Scott Shelley. Uh, good luck this afternoon.